Hi guys, it's Yvette here with a new layout created for A Place to Create, which is my local scrapbook shop in Arana Hills. It's a suburb of Brisbane. Uh, so that's where you can purchase this kit. I'm just showing you here some papers. They're mostly Kayser Craft. Uh, there is one page Evans paper, which is whimsical, um, which I'll show you in a minute. It's the one with the pink lines, that one with the bright blue in the background, which we use. Um, I'm just kind of going through the bits that are in the kit. There's a stencil that I use. You don't have to use this stencil. You can use any stencil, but that one's from Celebrate. Um, and it's called uh, Sweetheart. I've also used those inks, which is the Spun Sugar Distress Oxide and uh, Coral Cabana from Catherine Pooler. I'm just putting it straight onto my layout there. Um, I've put you on fast forward so that you don't have to stick around for the boring bits and I'm just using a bit, bit of packaging to spread that ink around and lots of water to spray on there as well. Um, I get my paintbrush out and put some ink on a um, blending palette there just to give some splatters and things. Um, but that's pretty wet so I just pop that aside to uh, dry and we'll move on to the photo. I like sanding the edges of my photo. I just give them a little bit of a distressed edge look and I do that quite a lot. So that's what I just did. It's a 6 by 4 photo. I'm just cutting some foam out to go on the back of that. Uh, and I'm talking really fast because it's on very fast. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to make some paper strips out of the papers here. Uh, yours are pre-cut because you may or may not have the punches. Uh, so I have punched the end of the some of the papers. Um, so that little scallopy bit will already be um, punched out when you get your kit. Uh, but if you want different edges then you can use punches of your own or you can just do, I'm cutting some on a diagonal, um, I cut some with um, fishtails in them, I punch some butterflies out of some which you will also get in your kit with some with punched butterflies from them. I liked this tropical paper so much I used both sides of it um, most of the papers there I used bits and pieces of both sides. I'm just matting my photo with this um, plainish looking paper and um, that just gives it a little bit more of a edge and distressing the edge. Um, I've already put some foam behind that so that's going to sit up a little bit. And then I will start cutting up the rest of the paper into some banners. There was no uh, rhyme or reason to cutting those banners. Some of them I tore off, some of them I um, cut and then ripped in half because they were too long. So just go ahead and make a whole bunch. Um, and as you can see, I've started working on just a piece of plain white card in the background because my background paper is still drying. Uh, with the ink on it. So just to give me a starting point, I've gotten out just a piece of white card and used that. Okay, back to the piece of um, base card with your ink on it and it's dried so I can do some more stenciling which I've just used some of that ink in a darker darker colour. It's a Catherine Pooler one, that one, um, which is a darker pink and had a bit of trouble with the brush so change brushes. Those blending brushes are really fun to use. I quite enjoyed doing that um, and mostly just kind of aiming for around the edges so that when you put your photo and all the banners on that you can see a little bit of the stamping. Um, I actually went away and put that through my mink because that if you've got a mink machine or a laminating machine you can put your watercolour through because it actually heats it up and dries it a bit and it flattens it out really nicely. So now this is me transferring all the banner pieces onto the cardstock that I want to use. So they're going to get mixed up a little bit and we'll have to rearrange them again but it gives a little bit of an idea on the other piece as to where they're going to go. So I muck around with that for quite some time but then decide that they've got to start getting stuck down. So I've just got thick double-sided tape. I don't go all the way across. I leave about probably a centimetre or so on each side that hasn't got tape 
so that they're not all the way across uh, and take that off and start putting the bottom ones on straight away because once they're down then we can work on the top layer and add some extra ones in as we go so I do muck around with these quite a lot it does take quite a long time to to get all your pieces in the right place with even color you know I just like to have a few of the tropical ones and then evenly space those darker pink ones because they're so bright and then the floral ones I've kind of put here and there and they've all got different bottoms on them and they're all different lengths I didn't measure anything and then I started to poke some in underneath because I wanted longer ones they don't actually go all the way up to the top but that's okay because you can't see that um, some pieces are really short and I've just tucked them in under the bottom and they they look like they're going to be long um, so I just went ahead and kept on gluing and sticking and I, some of them I used foam dots but I didn't want them completely stuck down so that they were flat so they are only stuck at the top so that it creates a bit of a um, a fluttering effect of them so they do move a little bit which is nice so a bit more and a bit more um, just deciding I'm, I need some extra bits in here and there so just tucking a few little pieces underneath and then gluing we're them in some flowers cut I did cut a couple of flowers from the tropical paper but I only end up using one of those uh, and then I decide to stick my photo down so I can embellish across the top of the banner so I kind of just tucked my photo a little bit over the top of the banner and then we're going to cover that raw edge up with flowers and some of the bits off of the sticker sheet. Um, just cutting out some more of the flowers and then I'll pop those up on foam squares to um, give them a bit of dimension and cover the top of that banner and it makes it look nice and neat then. I do use a few different adhesives when I'm working. Um, I mostly stick um, photos down with double-sided tape. I have about three or four different widths that I work with, but probably mostly the wide one that's on my desk there on the left is my favorite. Um, I love those um, cheapy, uh, foam squares to the right hand side the yellow ones they're another one of my favorite things to use which I usually just pick up at the two dollar shop um, and I usually buy a whole bunch of them at once because um, they're not very good to run out of those um, I also have just uh, recently found um, Aileen's tacky glue uh, which is really nice to work with. I don't love putting it on the back of my photos though because uh, I find that it can warp them a little bit so I usually just use it for paper things um, but it sticks really well and it dries clear and I do really like it. So that's one of my main glues that I use at the moment. Okay, some bad news for the end of this layout. My camera cut out and I didn't realize and the end of the video did not record. So in a very short while, it will stop and you will just get some final photos of my layout. But what I did in this last little bit was just pulled in the sticker sheet. I, I stuck down those flowers along the top of the border. I pulled in the stickers and I added the little washi strips of the sticker sheet onto my banners and I put a title at the top of my photo and added a few sequins and things around the tops. There's a really cute scalloped piece on the sticker sheet that's pink and matches beautifully so I cut that into pieces and I used a piece of that underneath my photo which I really liked. Um, and then there were some little arrows. I popped those on as part of the banners as well. So you can see all of that in the final pictures. But thanks for watching. Um, sorry that the video is cut short. Um, there's just a little section up here where I put the little bit of washi stickers. And um, I did add some birds off of the sticker sheet to each side of the layout as well. 
so they'll be on there as well so there's me putting the little bits of washi on some extra banners and then some close-ups so I'm really happy with my layout I think it turned out really pretty and I love the little birds on the side on top of the flowers it kind of balances it out again it's a picture of my two two eldest daughters that are now teenagers but a favorite photo so I had to scrap it so these are just a little couple of couple more close-ups um, thanks for watching here's a picture of the card that I made with the scraps so don't throw anything away guys make sure you use everything see you next time bye